Over the next 10 years, the crypto, blockchain and Bitcoin sector are expected to become the 12th sector of the S&P. This is due to the fact that there are large pools of capital waiting to invest in the sector when policy is established. To enable the sector to be successful, policy needs to be developed to ensure the US maintains its leadership in the sector, which is the largest sector on earth. In the past three months, a number of senators and representatives have taken a proactive approach to cryptocurrency policy. President Trump has also issued an executive order declaring that cryptocurrencies will not be made illegal. BlackRock and Larry Fink have also discussed the sector, with a focus on ESG and climate change. Senator Bill Hagerty introduced a two-page bill that would make stablecoins legal and proposes that simple audits take place every 30 days with the duration of the asset limited to 12 months or less. This bill allows for the market to compete in providing stable coins and allows institutions to add them to their balance sheets. Kevin O'Leary went on to propose that stable coins should become policy and law in order to protect the US dollar as the reserve currency of the world. So let's regulate this, let's get behind this bill and make it happen. He also points out the potential minefield of the five vectors of policy. Let's talk about the minefields in the five vectors of policy. Noting the SEC has proposed that financial carbon audits be conducted quarterly for public companies in all 11 sectors of the economy. Now, if you claim that you're carbon neutral, you're going to get audited every quarter. Now, he argues that although the Bitcoin mining industry can become carbon neutral by buying carbon offsets, the tracking error is so large that no public auditor will sign off on this statement. The problem with a carbon offset is the tracking error is so huge that no public auditor will sign off on those statements. If the SEC adopts a policy that is unfavorable for proof of work in Bitcoin mining, it could in fact be beneficial for the environment. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, has included this in their ESG mandates as well as in the President's executive order. The economic value of producing Bitcoin has driven miners to fund the next generation of machines and turbines, such as hydroelectricity, nuclear power, wind and solar. This provides extra power for communities and capital for these projects is unlimited. The Loomis bill looks to make Bitcoin an allocation for institutions. Investments into portfolios are expected to range from 50 basis points to 300 basis points or billions of dollars. If Bitcoin proponents have their way and regulations are adopted, the cryptocurrency might see an increase in value as new investment dollars flood the market.